Hey friends, today I am making my dilemma public. For years, I've played a Fender 68 Reissue Custom Deluxe Reverb. They are beautiful amps, and I have only a few little nitpicks about them. For instance, the weight, the tremolo and reverb hiss, and the fact that the humbuckers start breaking up around 4 on the volume. I've been very interested in the Tone Master series ever since that came out. Last summer, I picked up a Tone Master Twin Reverb from Craigslist and was blown away. It has enormous clean headroom, it is lightweight, great tremolo, great reverb, very, very clean, but it can break up if you push it hard enough. Not to mention, it has a built-in attenuator and a line-out jack that sounds better than most mics, at least mics that I can afford. Plus, it delivers consistent miking when you use the line-out. Ever since I got this, I wondered, is the Tone Master Deluxe the perfect amp for me? After all, I've been a deluxe player for years, the 212 from the Twin is too big for me, even if it is lightweight. So I finally did it. I bought the Fender Tone Master Deluxe Reverb. Now I need to decide which one to keep. I'd be happy with any of them, and I'm still in the return window for the Tone Master Deluxe. The other two I'd probably just end up selling on Craigslist. So I've made my decision, and I've decided to share a few samples with you as I went through the process, in case you happen to be in a similar dilemma. I mic'd all three amps with a Sennheiser E906 at the center cone. Uh, I bypassed the cab sims on the Tone Masters, even though I think those sound even better than my micing job. And I played my Hanson T-Style Tele and my Gibson 335 to similar chords and riffs on each amp. Now here are a few notes before we get rolling. One, I played each of these amps for at least 10 hours. The Custom Deluxe 68 I've played for at least five years. This video is a small representation, and my decision is not entirely based on this video. Second, I am a one-man crew for lighting, audio, video, video editing, and playing. Sometimes, a guitar slips a bit out of tune as I'm playing, and it's simply too cumbersome to stop and tune each string each time. I mention this because it seems like about 10% of guitarists on YouTube have a hobby of watching videos until they hear an out-of-tune string, then feel the need to comment. We all hear it. It's out of tune, you're not special, you're just a jerk. If you have perfect pitch, guitar probably isn't the instrument for you anyway. But if this type of thing will bother you, then by all means, skip to the next video. Third, I set each amp with the same settings, pictures on screen as I start the amps. With the vibrato channel set for clean single coils and the normal channel maxed out for gain with humbuckers. The only difference in controls is that the twin has a mid-range knob, which I left at 5 because I didn't really know how to bypass it. The twin also has a bright switch, which I left engaged on both channels. I do have some clean samples with the bright switch off, but I play it on so that makes for a better comparison. Finally, I hope you all enjoy this and find it helpful, and if so, I'd really appreciate a like and a subscribe. I don't have time for many videos these days, but I have a large back catalog, and getting more subscribers makes me want to make more content. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment. I'll be sure to reply.